Without modern electronics, how could you determine your longitude, latitude, and altitude while lost deep underground? Brief setting notes, it's a basically Earth-type situation, a spinning ball of rock in space with the same size and gravity and atmosphere and magnetic fields and everything else. The main difference is that there is also a huge dungeon cave system across the continent. No one knows how deep it goes, or how extensive it is. People have been exploring it for hundreds of years, using it for travel and trade, towns have been built around the entrances, and decent amounts of society and industry are built around it. But because of how large it is, and how inherently difficult it is to navigate in caves, only tiny fractions of it have been mapped, and what lies in the deepest depths is largely unknown. Things are about at a 1890s level of technology, and many people are all trying to solve the problem of underground navigation. When you're traveling underground for weeks and months at a time, knowing where you are can get almost impossible. Compasses help, but they only do so much, and there's no sun or stars to help determine latitude, to say nothing of longitude or altitude, which is often what people really want to know, no use in bragging about how you've been deeper than any other explorer if you don't know how deep you actually are. So, given the technology that would realistically exist at about this time, is there some sort of surveying method or mechanism, portable and handy enough to be carried with the average explorer, which lets them know exactly where they are in terms of longitude, latitude, and altitude? Altitude or depth can be measured with a barometer. Latitude is doable, but tricky. Two methods come to mind, but they require staying on one spot for rather a long time to make accurate measurements. The first option is to use a Foucault pendulum. The rate of precession of such a pendulum is directly related to latitude. The pendulum conveniently serves as its own timekeeping device, so you don't even need a pocket watch to go with it. A projector and a single sheet conversion table would be sufficient. You just have to hang around in one spot long enough to get an accurate measure of the precession rate, which would take several hours at least, and while it could be packed down quite compactly for transport, the device would be rather tricky to set up. The second option is to use a gyroscope. This would be slightly past the level of technology that gave us pocket watches for measuring longitude on Earth, to be able to use spring-driven clockwork to keep the thing spinning long enough, and on sufficiently free bearings. The basic idea is to start the gyroscope spinning, and then observe its apparent axis of precession over a significant portion of a day. The gyroscope will maintain a constant orientation in space while it is transported along by the rotation of the planet. The precession axis is parallel to the axis of the planet, and the angle it makes with the direction of gravity tells you your latitude. It is a good idea to run at least two gyroscopes in parallel, at 90 degrees to each other, to get a better reading, although with sufficient development it is possible to build damped gyroscopes which will naturally align themselves with the precession axis, making taking a reading much easier. Unlike a Foucault pendulum, a gyroscopic device will also indicate north and south hence the name gyrocompass. Longitude is much harder. Pocket watches don't do anything for you if you can't measure local solar time. Odometers could be used to assist with dead reckoning. Compasses might actually be useful in this regard as well, if you can establish a depth, latitude, and orientation to true north with a barometer and gyro compass, and have a detailed magnetic declination map developed on the surface, you could simply consult the table of magnetic declinations along your line of latitude to narrow down options that match your magnetic compass reading. With a combination of pocket watch and really good gyro compass, however, you can do better. To make this work, you will need an extremely accurate gyro compass set rotating at a known position, say, when you enter the dungeon system, exactly perpendicular to the planetary axis. If you were to stay in one place, it would appear to rotate at a known rate as the planet spins, making one full rotation every day, so you can compare its actual rotation with that predicted by your pocket watch. If you stay in one spot, they will match exactly but if you move east or west, they won't. The difference in the actual position of your gyro compass at any point from that predicted by the pocket watch will indicate transport around the planet's axis farther or lesser than would be accomplished by the planet's own rotation and thus, indicates how far you have traveled across the planet yourself.